Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? How you doing out there in the ether? Thanks for being patient. Of course, you know, things happen. <laughs> My computer is just so on fire with all of this technology stuff that's happening in the background. Hey, that, hey, um, hey. What's up, everybody? And uh, hey. hearing myself doubled and all the things, but we're back. Hey, thanks. Thanks everyone for being patient. Yay, shout out to Transmute. I, the first thing I saw was shout out Transmutant graduate. So what's up, Transmutants? Um, shout out Sonia, shout out Josh. Um, thanks, for, thanks for coming, thanks for being patient. Um, we have a very special guest today, oh my God. Yes, I'm just gonna try to keep moving forward and forget about the fact that my fire new 16 inch MacBook Pro just <laughs> completely shut off right before we were all ready to go. But you know how it goes. Um, the good thing is that we had like an amazing sound check and I'm so excited to share some goodness with you guys. Yay. Um, so I'm going to talk to you real quick. Um, we've got some people that may not know who I am at all. I know there's some people that know, but um, some people that do not know. So I am going to um, share my screen here. And show you guys a little presentation. Um, so welcome to Design Your Dream Online live show. Um, I'm your host, Laura Escaday. This is day two of a three-day event. Um, so definitely, if you guys caught Keely, aka Dressage, yesterday, let's give Keely some love in the comments. Woohoo! And um, Today we've got a special artist who I'm going to introduce in just a minute. She's waiting backstage. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be doing my own performance tomorrow. I'm going to show all of my rig and my setup and all the things. So definitely come back by tomorrow. And um, yeah, I, I, my goal is to start on, one, on time for one of these. Although someone had a comment yesterday that uh, I think it was Jeff, only nerds start on time. So, you know, I am a big nerd though. So. I, I should start on time. So anyway, thanks for bearing with me. Um, so hi, I'm Laura. Um, this is Design Your Online, Dream Online Live Show. These are our very special guest artists that we've had with us and with us today. Um, so my mission is to empower artists to cultivate their own original voice in the live performance space, encourage positive and healthy relationships, and build community by sharing resources. So if you guys are with me on this, please type in the comments. I'm with you, Laura. Like, heck yeah, this is awesome, or no, <laughs> whatever you want. Um, but yeah, the more uh, people out there that are in line with uh, the mission of helping each other and sharing resources like, you know, I've been doing this week and like I've been doing continually in my career. Um, you know, I think it's important for us all, especially right now in this crazy time out there to be helping each other move forward with our passions and our careers and just personally and professionally and everything. So I appreciate each and every one of you here today checking this out. Um, so I'm a performer. I'm also a playback engineer. I do a lot of uh, things behind the scenes as well as on stage. I toured with Kanye West for a long time doing his live show programming and playback. I've also DJed with a bunch of different artists out there. I've done playback on American Idol for the last couple of years. Ugh, sadly, not this year because... Um, they aren't going into the studio, although they are having a really cool show, I hear, um, this time around. Everyone's recording it on their iPhones, and they're um, just doing what they can at, at home, and so I got to check that out. It looks super, super cool. Um, I've played at the Grammy, in the Grammy band the last couple of years as well, doing all the music playback, um, as well as playing violin and doing electronic stuff, which is a huge honor. Um, my company, Electronic Creatives, uh, builds rigs for artists and work with artists to help them level up their live shows um, and do their uh, live show programming and design. And I'm also the creator of something called the Transmute Accelerator. You guys may have heard seeing the comments, some transmutants are in the house. Um, and uh, we've got a session coming up starting actually next week, which is cool. It's a two month um, online program to learn how to do all of the things that I do with controllers and um, and instruments and Ableton Live centric. So, um, 
And here's some just images of what it kind of looks like. It looks like us on Zoom, hanging out, nerding out about all the things, have special guest artists like my friend Da Vinci come and drop knowledge about his push set, as well as Miss Rachel Collier, a friend of mine who was on the loop at home the other day, shout out Rachel. And we also have uh, the brand new Transmute community. Um, this is on Facebook. It's a community for high vibe artists who want to level up their live shows, who want to help co-create and be part of a community, who are positive, who are just ready to take things to the next level, both personally and professionally in their careers. So I invite you to go to uh, the Transmute community if you feel called to on Facebook and fill out our, our questions. And uh, once, once you're in, then we can uh, see what kind of magic, other magic is happening. We're also having a contest as well. So more on that soon. Um, the Transmute from Home contest, in fact. And um, more on that really soon, like now. <laughs> Um, and uh, we are going to watch everyone's live performances from home and we're going to choose a winner and then that winner gets to win a session with me on Zoom and we'll go over all the things that you want to go over whether it's you know music technology whether it's business related just life stuff whatever we can just chat so um, definitely join that and uh, so without further ado um, we've got a very special guest artist today. Her name is Sudan Archives. Uh, this is an image of us just in the studio hanging out. We always just dress to the nines when we're in the studio because uh, we like to make beats like that. Uh, no, <laughs> this is actually, we were in the studio and we were going out to a Grammy party afterwards. And so this was a, a cool moment a few months ago. And so now what I would love to do is um, I would love to play for you guys uh, a video of Sudan's and um, I would love to yeah I would just love to to introduce her and I gotta check one thing on my end real quick to make sure that this is working and uh, we were we will get going here all right so oh, there's so much uh, magic and and stuff that is happening on the on the back end here i can't wait to share you guys um all the things so <laughs> I don't think you guys are hearing that. So let me check some. This is the, the magic of things crashing right before. <laughs> You're like, yeah, totally. That's the best when things crash right before. Let's see. Um, just let me know in the comments. Were you guys hearing that or not? I don't think that you were. What had happened was my my loop back had crashed um oh maybe that's what it is loop back oh you heard it okay oh amazing all right well then i'll shut up here we go <laughs> <laughs> For my baby mama, in the world for my daughter, my son, him go to flowers. People never want to say they don't care. Fake rage for the checks getting clear. I ain't trying to live my life to compare. Just pay me for the love that I share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. 
Let's give it up for Sudan, everyone in the chat. Let's give it up for Sudan right now. Okay, so she is waiting backstage, so I'm going to bring her in. What's up, Sudan? Are you there? Hello? Hello? Hi. How are you? Good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. How are you? Good. So, um, yeah, that's so great to have you here. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Us. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah. Super cool. Super cool times. We've got some special things. So what I would love to do um, right now is is play another video for you for everyone there out there in the world, which is um, your live performance, your recent live performance that you did. Oh, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about this performance? Um, yeah, I did this performance in, um, when I was on tour on MP NPR and, uh, yeah, it was right before a show and, uh, I performed like some new songs off my uh, newest album, Athena. Heck yeah. Yeah. And so that song glorious um, was from your album right before that, right? Right. No, right. I mean, that was from Athena. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was from Athena. Yeah, that is like my favorite song of yours. It's like so dope. Every time it gets on, I'm like, oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's like fiddle hip hop. Yeah. What's, what is, how do you describe your sound? I guess I would describe it as like fiddle infused electronic music. Okay, okay. Well, you know, from a, a fellow violinist over here you know i think that's like originally why we kind of started vibing was because you know we were like oh we play violin and uh, actually ableton the company had connected us yeah and uh you know we did a session and we were like oh my gosh like we got so much in common and like our violin styles are very different you know like you're like a more of a fiddle player like you said and i'm definitely like doing the classical thing and so like when we started yeah. working together it was like oh my god we're nerding out and then uh you got actually the violin that i have the the realist violin um shout out david gage instruments uh mm -hmm. i have the five string did you get the you got the four string i actually got the five string because the electric violin that i was playing with um it's like slightly bigger than the average size of a violin so mm -hmm. five strings like a little bigger so it was like right. transitioning was way easier because they're the same size oh my gosh yeah i know uh, that's why when i got it i was like oh my gosh i love this violin because you know it is a five string but it doesn't feel that different to me yeah. um and it doesn't it didn't require like me relearning a whole bunch of you know techniques and stuff and, and finger positioning so yeah um but yeah so we we both play violin um both artists uh both into creating beats um sudan is a producer as well and uh she's got her own flow and way of, of producing and um yeah so i want to i'm going to show this video now um let me go ahead and share the screen and then we're going to go to this other video <laughs> Don't 
this is my land not for sale Don't waste your luck, sucker. This is my life, don't mix that up. This is my life, don't like the sun. This is my seat, can't you tell? This is my time, don't waste it up. No, this is my land, not for sale. so dope oh my gosh yeah tell us a little bit more um about yeah the song and you know how you wrote it and because this was an earlier song this was yeah yeah this song was um off of my earlier releases like I have two EPs and albums so this is off of probably like I think my second album called um sync or my EP and um these songs are really special because they were kind of like all made like on my iPad and they were just kind of like these jams that just turned into songs and someone heard and I kind of just like Matthew and I um, Matthew David he just engineered and helped me get everything together and it just like became like a special uh, a special EP because they're all just kind of like raw cuts of me just messing around trying to learn how to record Mm-hmm. yeah and tell us a little bit more about the the process like you know so you you were recording yourself and coming up with the ideas and then you collaborated with um another producer on this particular song right um yeah um matthew david he's just um he helped he mixed and mastered the whole eps my first two eps in ableton and that was like my first time mm-hmm. working with someone who was like super 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 like Ableton guru like uh-huh. you know he instead of re-recording everything he was like this is all special because of like the lo-fi because of like the hiss that's in the tracks this is all special we need to keep all of this and he just kind of like used all these crazy like plugins and like Ableton tricks to just like bring like the beauty out of like like some like low quality like stems heck yeah, yeah. I love it I, I just I think this is the first song of your yours that I heard and I was like wow can you tell us a little bit more about you know what space you were in when you were writing it um, yeah I was like it was the beginning of my career when I wrote this song mm-hmm. and it was right when I got signed I believe I had just like finished like that song and a couple other songs to go on the EP but I had just left I had just came writing that song. I had just came back from my first out of the country experience. So um, 
I saw a sign out there that said not for sale and it kind of just inspired the whole song. But it's a really special song to me because it's like during that time I was just doing, I had all these like, I was having all of these experiences that I've never had before. So. That's beautiful. So beautiful. Um, so uh, when we, you know, started working together a couple of months ago, uh, basically the, the first thing that I heard was that you wanted to level up your, your live so, show and kind of work on some of the mixes and like get things together and kind of try some new things. And, um, and so I, we got together and then it was just like kismet, you know, cause we're like, oh my <laughs> gosh, pilot. and then I see that that video was pre realist, right? The video that we just saw yeah. before you got the realist. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, we got together and we started with your stems. And um, so I just remember like, it's always fun getting stems from artists and artist camps and, you know, engineers and producers and all that uh, kind of stuff. And, uh, but you had it all together. You're like, here you go. It's all together. I'm like, all right, she's <laughs> on it, you know? Cause a lot of times when working with an artist we have to hunt down engineers and hunt down the stems and like find stuff. and. And then if that's the case, then, you know, we don't have everything that we need. So anyway, Whoa, yeah, yeah. So you, you had it all together and then, you know, so some songs had like stems and then some songs didn't right? cause they're a little bit older and, you know, those were just like kind of mixed the, the way that they were and um, you didn't have access to some of that stuff. And then the newer stuff, you know, was like super clean and broken out and, you know, and all of that. So we kind of had to go through your stems and like, parse through them and make sure, you know, that the levels for some of the older stuff match the levels of the new stuff. And, you know, what was that like for you when you first started kind of going through the, the stems and the music? Do you remember? Um, I just remember like feeling so good when I finally got all of them on in a folder on my hard drive. I was like, yeah, you got to have your stems to your stuff. You can't just be like... <laughs> <laughs> it's around like that so once I finally had all the stems it was just like this huge relief and um I don't know I was just like I was I just remember being super excited that I was going to be able to have a choice like I wasn't I don't have to just perform over a track like it can get as experimental as I want I just have to come with like the ideas and like it can it's possible so mm -hmm. I just remember feeling like before that sometimes like my backing tracks are too loud and um i don't have the stems so i can't do anything about it but mm -hmm. now i don't even need like backing vocals for songs if i don't want them and i mm -hmm. can take out certain instruments just to make it more minimal because sometimes you just drown sometimes in the track sometimes yeah because i'm yeah. a very very soft singer so i need to like cultivate my live songs to that you know Mm-hmm. Because yeah, I remember you were like, okay, I think what I've been doing is, is okay, but like some of the songs I want to be able to have the control to like take out my backing vocals or, you know, take out some violin parts in certain areas or add things or add transitions or just like be a little bit more improvisational. Yeah. Yeah. And slowly, and I want them to be like interchangeable, like, you know, slowly, it takes me like a while to like learn a song and play a violin at the same time if it's like set up like that. And sometimes I may need like um, to just slowly learn how to do that. So I want to be able to be like, OK, I'm ready to like do this solo now. I'm ready to like play the lead violin. Can Let's like take that out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and so I th I would love to get into the session that we built um, and kind of talk through a little bit of our process. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So. So. All right. So. Here's the session. Um, you know how you do all this, like organizing all these stems i would go crazy <laughs> no she like took all my stems and was like okay got all the stems doop, 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 and just like downloaded them into ableton and just like started going crazy and just boom everything's like b 
BPM yeah. up. She had to like BP, make sure the BPM and everything was lined up. And mm -hmm. yeah, there's always a certain amount of de what? detective work. Thank you for saying all that. Like, there's a, always a certain amount of detective work that goes into, you know, figuring this stuff out. So I definitely was like, you know, there's certain songs that change tempo, and you might not have that information or um, that aren't on the grid. That was all, always fun. Like when I worked with Herbie Hancock, like I did the rocket song with him and i was like oh this wasn't recorded to a click <laughs> this is yeah. not to a click you know so that was fun times it, you know <laughs> um but yeah so so here's the session um and uh let me just get this there you go um so yeah so i'm just gonna kind of talk through um how we set this up um so for the purposes of today um you know everything's just being routed to you know stereo channel just because you know that's all you guys are listening to out there in the world um but you know on a on a show where there's multiple outputs you know we'd be able to send these out different outputs here on the returns and so that's kind of why everything is routed to these returns here um and let me just go in um there's a couple of things that i remember um so first of all like you know at the top of the session there's just the name of the song and then we've got you know like little markers for like the verse and the chorus and all that kind of stuff and then like i always do bar numbers as well um just because you know when i'm working with different artists or working on television shows there's um, sometimes sheet music so we can just call it a bar number especially if like the band is playing to the music so i always put that in there um you know reference mixes and then you know getting into the stem so like if we, you know zoom out on the whole session you know it looks something like this and instrumental tracks so we're doing like Voragey Biv, so the rainbow colors, <laughs> and then violin tracks, and then the lead vocals, which are all turned off, um, and then background vocals. And you can see that, like, we've muted some stuff and some stuff's in there. We've edited some things, uh, so background vocals. And these were like mega broken out, which was very cool because then we could, like, take, you know, certain like reverb tails from one song or you know a delay and uh or mute certain other kind of background vocals so having it all um all there was really beneficial as well as the bass so the bass had its own um, output there and then um a click rack and a slate rack so she can hear you know three four one two three four and then um just a bunch of we're gonna get to this other stuff here at the bottom in a minute we got a super special thing that we're gonna do oh my god i can't wait <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I wanted to just go through, um, and, uh, just kind of like relive some of the stuff that we did. So I think one of the first things that you said to me was like, there's this drum, there's this drum loop, right? And what song is that from? Um, it's from Pelicans in the Summer. Yeah. Okay. So Pelicans in the Summer. And you were like, uh, I got this drum loop and I want it to be kind of like the transitional element, like through a line with the whole show, right? And um, so what we did kind of, I took it um, and we had made this one like 20 BPM. So it's like mega slow. And then we made this one 60. And so you can see like the original um, tempo was 76. And we put that like in a few places. So like, for instance, with all of these songs here, um, this, which is, did you know, confessions and black v Vivaldi all together at the beginning of the song, we have the loop playing. Just skip ahead. And you can see the tempo in the top left hand corner is like increasing now. So then the song comes. 
person. So was this like, was this the beginning of your set or what, where did this go in your set? The, um, the pelican, the drum loop? Or just like this particular uh, song segment? Was this like mid set? You know, um, is the first song I usually the perform. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. So, um, you know, so were you like walking out on stage or did you come out on stage and you? Um, sometimes I would, um, yeah, I was like, I wanted it to be where I wasn't even on stage yet, but I mean, I don't have any band members and I don't have yeah. any, like, I didn't figure out how to do some little controller where I could like press it real quick. But yeah, I would just like go on stage and press it. And I kind of like was messing with like, I, I think I was like messing with like my pitchfork pedal with my violin and I was just like making long strums. Mm -hmm. to that drum beat and I would just go a little faster and faster as the beat just like got faster itself and then I could just like for some reason just performing it so much I could just tell when it would be over and I would go straight into the plucking for the next um for the for the song and sometimes I would like make a loop first then just add the drums and then the loop of the violin is just playing with the drums and it's kind of like not matched up bpm wise but I'm playing probably something like very ambient, so it just flows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that's that's super key, like just having that flexibility. And, you know, I know a couple of people on here are like, OK, well, what's the deal with the pedal board and Ableton? And, and so like originally the plan, you know, we were just getting together to like see what was even possible. Um, and then after that, we kind of discussed, OK, are you, is she going to bring a a rig with live and, you know, a whole playback system on tour. And, you know, just, we decided on, uh, and Sudan's um, side of the, the fence decided uh, that they weren't going to, to do that for this particular tour since it was, you know, uh, somewhat of a smaller tour. Right. And, um, you know, it kind of, it does, it takes more resources for sure to like yeah. add another person and, you know, all yeah. of that and i think you were traveling pretty light it was like three three of you guys maybe? yeah it was just three of us it was like my first tour ever and um it was like an all sold out tour but i was really nervous i was like well i don't want to like be experimenting with something i've never done like and i'm so used to performing with like just the gear so maybe it, like what we did was we just decided to just kind of work on the tracks and try to get them to sound the best and just mm -hmm. keep everything the same for the first one first round yeah. yeah and so what we did was we basically created the session as if you know it was going to be a playback session for her on on the tour and then bounced down the stems uh for her to use so she actually triggered uh the two track of the show but mixed the way that we wanted it to be mixed and so i think this is you know a lot of people out there who are just starting out or um, even or, uh, at a higher level are often wondering, okay, like, when do I need to make that jump? And it's like when you're super comfortable and have the resources to do it and have more time to like rehearse with it. And I think also that was another thing where we were just like, we're running out of time here. Like you were going on tour like the next week or something. And, you know, you'd have to like really get comfortable, like you said, with, with a new rig, but yeah. Um, but it's actually really cool because Sudan is going to be doing my transmute course. And so she's going to be like designing her next evolution of all this stuff, which is super exciting. And, um, and so she does use a pedal board and we're going to talk about that a little bit later, but just tell us real quick, like you, you have, um, a sampler on stage. Yes. Um, I have like my SP 404 that like triggers my backing oh, tracks and, um, like a guitar rig that also has like a looping pedal for my violin and like a voice loop pedal effect pedal for my voice. Yeah. For my voice. Yeah. Nice. That's so cool. And, and, and wireless in-ears. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who is your friend here? That was James. Oh no. Well, I mean your fluffy friend. <laughs> oh, my fluffy friend. Why don't you tell them who you are? My name is Junko. <laughs> my name is Junko, and my mom, this is my mom, 
and she loves music gear, and she has a lot of friends that love music gear, and, yeah, I'm just here, I'm just here, hi. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing, but I think that was, like, the best moment, I wish I was sharing the screen right now, I'm like, can we go back, wait, hold on, let's go back real quick, <laughs> let's see a bigger, let's, let's see, is it a he? Girl. girl oh, oh i didn't see the pink okay. see my pink <laughs> girl. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh so you got you got her like right before you went on tour right yeah right before tour and then i came back and i was acting all weird when my mom came back because i wasn't used to her being here but now i'm used to her being here because we're all locked up yay <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh Man, that's that's so awesome that you got. Oh, <laughs> I want one, but I I'm like too busy still, even in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, cool. All right, so I got distracted by the the, the lovely little fur. Um, okay, so going back to the session, this all just feels feels so like just trivial now because she's got a little doggy. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> online nerding out she's got a doggy okay um <laughs> so so we kind of we went through and like did these little transitions right between the songs So um, we've got some like little count-ins and stuff like that, which I don't think are lined up right now because she wasn't using them. But um, so between these songs, like that one was just more of like a clean sort of transition where the song just ran into the next song. And then uh, this one, let's see what we did here. Yes, yeah, so we brought back some of the strings from the song after the song ended. Kind of did this little transition here. And then go into Black Vivaldi. So that was that transition. And, and then at the end of this, what were you doing here? So we did like a loop, right? At the end of the song and you just kind of vibed over this? Yeah, I read a poem over that. Ah, okay. Sometimes I would loop too, some strings, uh, but um, uh, it was just like this. Yeah, we picked the part to loop so I can perform like this poem. Because I don't really like to talk <laughs> during my sets because I'm really shy. I like to kind of all, I like, because I feel like when I'm talking, then I get out of the moment. Mm -hmm. So, but I was like, you know, maybe I should incorporate a little bit of talking somehow. Yeah. So I thought maybe reading a poem, I could still be in like, in the zone, but mm -hmm. kind of do some spoken word stuff. Yeah, totally. I yeah. wonder how many people are out there watching this right now. It says 500. Not to make you nervous. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, uh, during my shows, but right now we're talking to all these people. <laughs> <laughs> You're cool as a like, kid. <laughs> it feels yeah. different when it's like, yeah, just like, performing live on the internet is definitely different than yeah, live in a room yeah it's cool. definitely different but this is about like the amount of people that was on the tour oh, good. oh so we're just it's like we're on tour yeah one of your shows right now <laughs> um let's hear what this sounds like oh, yes yeah, so we slowed this down here yeah so i was like i was start Sorry, what did you say? Yeah, once this, like, once it started slowing down, I would just start reading the poem. Yeah, so slow down here. Yeah, and I just remember thinking, like, we decided we just really liked that, like, super grainy sounding, like, you know, with certain types of material you know it can sound good in certain circumstances and then other circumstances 
Um, I forget what, uh, yeah, I used Complex Pro on this one. I think we tried a couple of different ones, but you know, Pro was sounding the best. Um, and then we had Down On Me. Mm -hmm. Did you? Yeah, and then that was just on its own. Um, Down On Me, what'd you say? Or did we, you didn't do that one in your tour, did you? I did, maybe, no, I don't think I did that one on my okay. tour. Okay, yeah, because I remember like we ended up putting a bunch of chunks of songs together. So you just would trigger, you know, one thing and it would play multiple songs. Yeah, because I was getting like, ooh, it was just getting a little frustrating having to trigger every song. And I kind of wanted to focus on like, for this tour, my goal was to focus on like playing violin more. So I just thought maybe that would help having mm -hmm. less things to do like kind of like I, I want to be an octopus but not like an octopus with like 20 arms like more so like four arms so I don't have to do so much <laughs> that's that's how I feel right now because like I'm literally like I have like 10 programs open and then I like in order to screen share like all of this stuff and have it look good because zoom degrades the quality once you through this application that I'm using anyway it's like a whole thing but um <laughs> like choreographing like all right, turn this on, turn this on. <laughs> so I understand what it's like, you know, especially on tour, you want to like connect with the audience, you know, you're there to like to perform. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, so, okay. So we had this other sequence, um, the Pelicans in the summer. And then I, I remember we did something cool after this. Let's listen to this. <laughs> That part, the crowd will always go crazy on that part. Right, <laughs> I bet, cause they're, cause it's like, what's happening right now? Like, yeah, this is so weird and mysterious. Yeah, like when I when this when it slows down, sometimes I would like sing. I would make like this. I would kind of be dramatic and dramatic with it, and yeah. I would like kind of like fall on the floor and like sing <laughs> with the <laughs> mic all laid out. Like I just. Watch to remember. And then people would be like, whoa. They'd be kind of confused. And then I would kind of just like get back up and then go right into like the fiddle with the next song. And people always be like, hey, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so awesome. <laughs> I love it. Um, so, you know, there's there are a couple other like, you know, transitions and things like that. Let's see what we did here. That one was just like a clean, like... Hey, that was, that was like... Like abrupt. Yeah, but people love that stuff. Like, uh, that was like the very end of that song. Like, that's when it's like the most intense and I'm like screaming like, that guy don't love you and I'm like going crazy and then like I'm out of breath and then it's just like switches to the next song and people are like what yeah I love that okay, <laughs> super cool uh, yeah I love just like the different yeah the different um styles and ways that you can transition between songs like the abrupt like the stop the you know the slow down the like sound effects like grabbing a segment from another song you know just all that yeah yes yes um okay so i'm realizing i'm gonna actually stop my video and zoom 
um, so that when, yeah, because I'm using this other program here. Um, and so we'll just see you in the top hand corner and not two of me. <laughs> Learning new tricks every day. This is so fun. Oh my God. I just have like seriously leveled up all of my stuff in the last week. And it's like so exciting because I'm like, whoa, I'm getting super close to like, right. win the ultimate. And so speaking of that, we're going to do something really cool um, right now. And so what we're going to do is you still have your your session open, right? Yes. Okay, dope. So um, we are going to use this this uh, application called Listen To. And um, so since my computer crashed, we don't have it all set up anymore, unfortunately. So I'm going to set it up in real time on her computer. So you guys are going to be able to see this. Um, so basically, this is a, a plugin that will allow us to collaborate in almost real time. Um, so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And we're going to go to your screen. You want me to share my screen? Yep, please. Nope. All right. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to start on my end here. I'm going to grab the link and then I'm going to come over to your screen here. And then I am going to request remote control. Let me have the control. Okay, so then I'm going to go over to her receiver here and we're going to disconnect and then we're going to paste and then connect, boom, and then we're going to go over to her send and you're still going here so we should be able to just, you know, copy the link over here and then I'm going to paste that on my end and connect. All right. So um, if you could, let's go ahead and well, I'm going to mute you in Zoom. And then we're going to turn you on in Ableton. Now, can you just talk into the mic real quick? We won't be able to hear you. But yep, OK, I'm seeing your level come in on my end, which is good. OK, so I'm going to mute you again in Ableton and come back and unmute you here. Okay, so we're good there. And so now the other thing, I just wanna make sure that you're hearing um, my session. Um, so let me know. You heard it? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing your screen and then we're gonna go back to sharing my screen. And see what I mean? There, it's like a, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm also going to turn off my video here. So you guys just see me and then her and the right hand side, hopefully. Yeah. Um, okay. So YouTube has such a delay. So I'm just like, <laughs> like just double checking. Okay. I think we're good. Um, so what we're going to do is, um, oh, and then on your end, did we mute you again and turn on live? If you could just do that for me. Okay, dope. All right. Um, so we had a, um, a key command set up for her, the, the letter A, so she could just turn off um, the uh, vocal coming through live. Um, just because we would hear, you know, two of her and that would be kind of crazy and then it just sound weird. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to play through this transition and Sudan, I, I want you to do that clap on the, the downbeat um, so we can, I can more easily sync things together. And so I'm just going to play this and we're going to record and see what happens. <laughs>
everyone could hear what she was doing, but we will hear it in just a moment. So Sudan, if you want to mute yourself in live and then unmute yourself in Zoom so we can hear you again. Um, okay. And then I'm going to pull. Yeah. So I'm just going to see which one of these was your clap. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Juicy. Hey, so you're making it easier for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's zoom in here. Let's see, we'll see how accurate your your clap was. <laughs> um, okay, and then we're gonna get rid of all that, and then so we're gonna. One, two, three, four. my father's face. Oh, all oh. right. So, oh, I think those are the claps that. Mm. Maybe because I was clapping on that in intro too. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Let me go back. Because those are the actual these tiny one, the tiny one. Yeah, I think that was actually clapping on the track. Uh, on the beat. Okay. On the beat. Yeah. The other ones were you just jamming. <laughs> <laughs> rocking out. I, I eyeballed this the other day you know, without the clap and yeah, you know, it was good. And I somehow slipped it in into place, you know. <laughs> um so we'll see if this works. All right. Boom. A smile on my father's face. Screenshot smile on my father's face. Papa got in the job today. Mama smells like to joy. Feels so close, yeah, so far. Aye. Yeah. So good. Uh -huh. They don't do affiliates, but uh, I should smile on my father's face. Get this one. Got in a job today. Mama's got a touch of joy. So that's a little funny. Yeah, so um, I was having a little delay. I call it that aside. You were. Yeah. You heard I heard it when I was recording. Uh, okay. Sometimes it's like all, it's like spot on. Can... It's like also um you know our connections and mm -hmm. wi-fi and bandwidth and all that kind of stuff i have this set to 0. 0.2 seconds latency and we are doing the highest quality possible so you know we could like bump that down and maybe we would kind of experience some of that but i think it was just like a little small little glitch thing but yeah and the rest of it sounds good. Hit yep. the max on my card today. Pay it back as soon as I get paid. I can't wait by my mama place. Pay a day, she can quit today. Hit the max on my card today. Pay it back as soon as I get paid. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Focus on wow. the bottom line. <laughs> Dang. All right, so that's so fire. So, like, everyone in the chat, like, let's give it for Su Sudan right now and, like, the fact that this is crazy that we can actually do this this is so cool <laughs> it's so cool yeah so um you know f so for her show she decided like you know that she wanted to add in some new backing vocals i could just like record her like this and put it in and you know send her back the mix um you know so there's like all kinds of uses for this including you know collaborating yeah together. yeah so um I'm just going to, let me just go visit the chat and see. Yeah, everyone's like. How do you go to the chat? <laughs> little hip hop. Oh, it's on YouTube. Oh, you have to go in the browser. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people are like, yeah, cool to see the process. This is like, this is the first time I'm looking and seeing all this stuff. Um, shout out to Eugen, who is, is commenting for me. Thank you guys. For all the love. Thank you, Eugen. Yeah, thanks, Eugen, and all the folks. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to next. Oh, I forgot to turn off the video. Um, uh, 
I want to next do the song that we started working on together. So I'm going to like open that up. It's a whole new thing. And so um, we've got a cool thing planned. And we will be taking questions at the end, you guys. So just please hold on to your questions. I know you guys are asking them now. And um, yeah. you're like, we want to know now. Um, but we will try to get to as many as possible. Also, my computer battery is draining every minute, <laughs> which is another crazy thing that's happening with my computer right now. Um, I actually like have the, the brand new 16 inch tricked out MacBook Pro, which is super awesome. But then now there's something wrong with the battery. And so when I have all this stuff running, it just the battery starts going down. So like right before this live stream, I had to like shut off my computer just so it would charge back up. And it's crazy. <laughs> There's so much going on here. Um, okay, so I am, can you share your screen again with me? Yes. We're gonna do the listen to thing on this end. Okay, and then I'm gonna request remote control. We don't need iTunes right now. Okay, so we go back over to live, pull this back up. All right, so I'm going to copy the link, paste the link. Okay, okay, okay. Can you um, play your violin rig for a minute and let me see if I see this coming in? I do. Okay. Can you just put the track? Make sure you're hearing the, the track? Yeah. Okay, great. All right. So stop the sharing here um and i am going to just for a second show you guys this session um this is something that we started you know a few months ago before all of the the lockdown stuff and then recently now with this plugin we're like oh man we could totally still record together mm -hmm. um which is super cool so um this is like a totally like rough, you know, rough song that we kind of had started and we're meaning to get back to. And so for the purposes of this live stream, we decided, okay, we're going to pick it back up and we're going to record over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a little recording on, um, and then I'm going to check my, input that is not what we want okay check check, check. and then boom, boom boom all right so that is working and i see both of our signals coming in so i'm going to start sharing the video again and then i'm going to turn the click on for us we can have that and then um yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do some some jamming. Fun. Do you have an A? Do you have a good A? <laughs> Very good. I got a good A. I used my app right before this. I hope it's still good. Wait, hold on. Let's tune. No, wait, let me.
cute that we have matching violins for this. Also, yeah, so. wait. Like, <laughs> so for your plug What'd you say? For your plugged in and I'm I'm gonna record through the mic, so Okay. Cool. Alright, so um here we go. <laughs> love how the timing is just super accurate i know oh my god yeah. that was that was so fun um so let's check it out my screen with you guys out there and all right so this first one is me Thank you. 
I'm gonna just guess here. Let's try that again. Open. Let's see if that works. people I would just actually look at the comments real quick and I realized that when my computer restarted the the setting in zoom hot tip for those of you guys that use zoom um, we're sponsored by zoom today in fact that's why we have this big logo in the bottom right hand corner no I'm just kidding um, <laughs> you guys that were here yesterday know that I just paid two hundred dollars to try to <laughs> They have watermark removed. I was like, just can I please just not have this big zoom watermark in the right hand corner? I will pay money to get this. And they still didn't remove it because I'm in have to get approved to remove the branding. Anyway, um, so when my computer crashed and I logged back into Zoom, I did not do the first thing that I should have done. And I'm not sure if yours still says this as well, but like you need to make sure that your original sound is turned on. And so every time it's a setting in the advanced settings, every time you restart Zoom, it resets. So I'm wondering for our audience out there, because um, I saw someone just posted that it wasn't sounding great. Let me see if this sounds better. And I'm gonna share the screen again. <laughs> saying it sounds better yeah okay hey sandra's okay so good so good better better hey okay. oh man okay I, I wish that i could like i need like one other screen because the the chat is behind me and i've got my laptop that you guys are seeing the stream from here i'm screen sharing on this computer and then i've got another screen here rock like okay you're the screen that's right there with the comments <laughs> um anyway so so that's that like um you know obviously remote collaboration is getting way better right now and um performing in real time is still kind of you know obviously there's some latency um there are applications out there that i've been experimenting with with other people um actually the ableton certified trainers group i actually on Saturdays at 11 PST every week, we're doing a Zoom hangout where we talk about different software. And this week we're doing a beat challenge. We're all making a beat from a sample. And uh, there's lots of nerd stuff that's always happening. So definitely um, stop by my YouTube channel um, and check it out. And lots of like 
really gold mine information from a lot of really smart people, which is one of the reasons why I host the group because I'm like, I learned so much. It's awesome. Um, so I'm going to, oh, I am going to stop sharing the screen now so you can actually see us again. Um, so Sudan, I wanted to like transition now to seeing you perform a little bit. Would you be down to do that? Okay. Like I'm, I'm, I was born down. Um, <laughs> we didn't plan this at all. We didn't just talk through every little thing <laughs> before this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would love um, if you could play some music for our audience. And um, let's make sure that you're in the top left-hand corner of Zoom. It says turn off original sound. It should say turn off original sound. It does. Boom. Um, I actually did make a checklist, which I probably will share with the world. Um, but in my transmute program, which Sudan is going to do, which starts next week, um, we are going to be going over all of the live streaming techniques, like everything that I've learned in the past, you know, couple years about live streaming and all the live performance stuff. So if you guys want some more info, definitely let us know. Um, we are still up accepting applications this week. Um, all right. So that's without further ado, let's let's hear some Sudan.
child. <laughs> it happens, you know. <laughs> You're rocking out though. That sounded dope for a while. It just it got a little distorted, but hey. Do you want to do that? You can use that distortion and put it into a loop. You know, make something out of it. <laughs> and you're bringing your Kavita. You need a sponsorship by Kavita as well. Kavita, I love you, Kavita. If you could just sponsor me. Yeah. Um, that was that was awesome though. Like I, I just love what you do. Like it's so raw and real and just original. And I remember like right before I met you, like Eugen. And I were talking about Eugen for my team. Shout out Eugen. She's the best. Um, we were talking about artists that we would want to collaborate with and work with. And we were like, Sudo and Archives is the best. Like, we would love <laughs> to meet her. And then, like, literally next week, it was like, hey. <laughs> do you yeah. Like, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it was very, it was kismet for sure. Yeah, um, I've been, like, a fan for a while because I've always been, like, just like trying out a new gear and trying to learn new things. And like, I ran into your channel probably from that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, we, it's, it's been a collab and, um, I was actually just reading some of the YouTube comments, um, while you were playing. And, um, so what you guys are hearing, even with the zoom, uh, original sound on, that's actually not the quality of what, I'm recording from her computer because you guys aren't actually hearing the listen to plugin. So I'm actually recording. What I'm hearing from her is a lot higher quality than what you guys are hearing. So I just wanted to point that out. The, the violin and the vocals that I recorded from her sound a lot better than what you guys are hearing out there in the, on the internet. Um, so it is absolutely a, a, a tool that you can use to um, collaborate and to record. Um, because to me, it sounds pretty high quality. I mean, it's 320. So that's, that's, that's up there. Um, and so anyway, just wanted to like clarify that because, um, you know, a lot of you are like, oh, I don't know if I can use this. I'm like, nope, you can, you could totally use it, but there's no way for you guys to hear the listen to plugin and all of us hear it and us collaborate. I was thought really long and hard about how to do that. And I was like, there's no way for us both to talk and play and then you guys all hear one stream. So we need like, I was talking with someone the other day, we need like an aggregate loop back just for like live streams. So if anyone out there is listening to this and wants to make it, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> um, so anyway, thank you for that Sudan. That was awesome. Um, I wanted to uh, just take some questions now um, and yeah, just see what is going on in the chat. Yeah, Roxanne said that turned into a hip hypnotic groove. I think so many amazing folks here in this chat, like shout out to all the transmutants, shout out to all the EC folks and all the Ableton folks and all the fans, Sudan fans and Yes. Um, all right. So questions. I'm going to go to my question sheet. Oh, yeah. We need to know about your pedals, Sudan. Like, can you show us what's on your pedal board? Is that possible? I think so. OK. I'm going to just bring it up. Like, like. got like can you guys see this can you see this yeah. so like to the left over here is like my looper i usually use the rc300 but that one broke so i got this this one's kind of cheaper it's the rc30 and it has two tracks and i love to use that to just kind of like transition between things and you know be before like i perform a song i like to like build the loop of the song so then people can kind of see how maybe it was made and then transition to the, the backing track. And then I have this Ocean Eleven's Reverb, the Pitchfork pedal. It's really cool. Like when you press it, you can just like get different like harmonies and get lower notes and higher notes. 
and you can even like blend it with the actual sound of your violin. And then I have like this Earthquaker device roof hoof reaper pedal. And I, I like to use that to just kind of like, when I do percussive thing on, things on the violin, it makes it louder. And then I got the EQ pedal so I can like just power everything. But uh, I recently got like a lot of my stuff stolen. So um, oh. I don't have as many pedals as I had. So I'm slowly rebuilding, but um, shout out to, um, shout out to just re rebuilding. <laughs> yeah. We are definitely, we're all rebuilding in a massive way right now. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What What has it been like for you during this time? Like, have you been able to create, or how are you kind of getting through this? How? Um, okay. I just. This is how I've been able to create. This is. This is what's been getting me through the corona, like my iPad and this little guy. Yes, the iRig. It's like, whoo, you can make some fire on here. It's crazy. I don't like to have a lot of options, like especially when you're just trying to get an idea down. Um, I really want to learn how to like use Ableton the way that Laura can, because she's just like an OG, like sci Ableton scientist, but just to get ideas down, I like to just have like my iPad and my rig and I'm able to plug in my violin and there's like so many cool guitar pedal apps you can, you know, kind of manipulate the violin with. And it's usually just me trying to get some voice and violin stems down. So I get all of my demos down through that process. And then I like to put it into Ableton and I've been like trying to teach myself how to engineer better. Yeah. Well, and you're going to learn a lot more very soon because you're yeah, in, I am. <laughs> you're gonna be like your mind is you're gonna be mine's gonna be blown and it's gonna be expanded oh my goodness i need a challenge so i'm yeah. ready <laughs> let's let's look through some of the other questions here um uh, yeah so i was gonna um so i actually have a document that i'm reading from because you didn't yeah, it's a cool little document here we did the pedal board rundown. Um, yeah, the, the click track would be normally just for in-ears only, but I wanted to play that for you guys so you could hear it. Um, let's see. What, I guess this is a question that came up a few times. What wireless in-ears and system are you using? What are you using? Me, I'm using like the Sennheiser, I believe, wireless system, the G three i think i had the g4 but I, like i got my like i think i had the g4 or something and then i got that stolen oh my god so i had to get another i wanted to get the same thing but they ran out they don't they don't have like the g4s anymore so i think i have the g3 now hmm. yeah I, and I use the, um, I use the, what do you call it? The, what is that in-ear? Like the actual in-ear company. What is it called? BH Audio, Ultimate Ears. Yeah, Ultimate Ears. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'm using JH Audio. And I've got a Sennheiser wireless um, pack as well. I've got a, my own little unit. Um, and then also have like a wireless headset thing sometimes that I wear. <laughs> I want to have my Britney Spears moment. moment. <laughs> um, I don't look as cool as Britney Spears though with the headset. Yeah, you do. <laughs> hey. <laughs> With a violin and a headset. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you have a lot of freedom, you know, cause you can run around. Um, okay. We talked about the pedals. Uh, oh yeah, talking about the Psychic collaboration. Yeah, totally. So um, the song that we played actually, we're working on a 
collaboration uh, in quad. Yeah, for the first time. So um, shout out to Kamran who is here with us. Uh, he's in, in the, the chat and uh, he's been following up with me. He's like, hey, where's that track? <laughs> I'm like, we're getting back to it. And so now we have this way to collaborate and which I just figured out. So now we can actually finish it. So you guys heard the first version of it and we're gonna clean it up and you know, send it out and then it's gonna be in quad. So you guys will be able to listen to it from the comforts of your own home in quad, obviously not through the internet in quad, although maybe comrades, you know, make it, I guess, you know, anything is possible. Yeah, cause you can decode. Yeah, when he showed me that you can decode YouTube videos that have been originally created in quad and he showed me that in my studio and I set up a quad system so you can see like I have this KRK in the back and I've got you know my Dyne audio is up front but like so I set up four speakers and uh, just to, to play with it and um, of course you know Suzanne Shani shout out Suzanne for pioneering this method of listening back in the immersive audio realm and the collaborations that they have done but yeah, so we've got a song that is going to come out in quad, so stay tuned yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let me, let me, those are all the, most of the questions um, that were on the, the document. Um, do we, a uh, question from um, Kevin, do you prefer using all the tracks from the recording sessions live or consolidating to say one keyword stem? So I personally like to have all of the stems separate um, just because, you know, anything could happen, especially when I'm programming a show for another artist. Uh, you never know when they're like, hey, I want to take out that one little tiny piece of something. Um, now, if I'm working on my show, I oftentimes will mix everything in a different session and then bring it into my session just because, you know, I can always go back to the original session and then make that mix. So it just depends. Um, but yeah, having um, having more choices definitely uh, is good. Um, Hana is asking, what do you, this is a good question. What do snakes represent for you, Sudan? Um, what do they represent? I just have a thing for like misunderstood creatures and people. And I feel like um, snakes are one of them. So it's almost like I like, it's almost like the underdog is like the symbol of like my, my art. Cause I almost feel like I'm like that too. Aww, and here's my snake. Oh, nice. What, what's your snake's name? Um, Goldie. Like people think they're so scary, but look at that. He's hiding in a ball. Aww. He's shy. How often do you play with him? Um, you're supposed to kind of like, like get it out the cage and like mess with it like once a week. Uh -huh. I can get it out now. Oh my gosh. I'm turning off my video so you guys can see all of this and its gloriousness. This is so amazing. Wow. I, like this is this this stream is like been more than I could have ever hoped for. Oh my gosh! Hi, Goldie. <laughs> oh my gosh! So dope. Yeah, he's just like chilling. Wow. Jinko's like, where is it? It's right here. Whoa. <laughs> She's like, what is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so I mean I'm gonna, I'm taking a screenshot on my end. <laughs> You're not one ever. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so good. What's your doggy's name again? Junko. Junko. Okay, Junko and Goldie. 
Oh my gosh. Well, we are running out of time. So I think I'll just leave it on that note, maybe. <laughs> um, so thankful that everyone showed up that showed up. Um, thank you, Sudan, for sharing your amazing art with us. Yes. Thanks for having me. Introducing us to your animals. This is giving me life. Right some high tech, <laughs> high tech shit. <laughs> okay, I'm screenshotting that one too. Let's <laughs> so record. Cool. He wants to get on the track. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good, so good. Wow. Um, thank you guys for coming. I'm like. How can we stop now? <laughs> <laughs> just gonna just admire Goldie <laughs> slithering around the studio. Hey, old buddy. You know how old he is? Um, a year. A year. Okay. Was he? How how big was he when you got him? He was like maybe half the size of this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Aw. He loves you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cool. Um, all right, well, we are running out of time. Um, so thank you guys for coming. Thank you so much, um, Sudan, for bringing all of your energy and showing us your animals and we gotta finish this track, so let's definitely talk about that. <laughs> and um Thank you. Yeah, just thanks for the love in, this, in the comments. And uh, I think a few of you were interested in maybe joining the community. I saw some information there. Bye. <laughs> uh, so definitely go ahead and go to Facebook, the Transmute community, if you guys want to join the community and learn more about what we do, live performance stuff and um, business and positivity and entrepreneurship and leveling up and love and all of the things. And I am also, as I mentioned, the Transmute Accelerator is starting next week. So we've got a couple of spots left in the program. And if you guys come to my YouTube tomorrow, um, I will be doing the rundown of my whole set and all my gear and I got some new tricks that I'm so excited to share with you guys. It's gonna be super fun. So definitely come by again tomorrow at the same time on my YouTube and I will be talking more about Transmute then as well for those of you that are interested. And we're just gonna be going deep and I'm gonna show you all my crazy stuff. So yay! Um, shout out to all the Transmutants and future transmutants I see you out there. Hey Zeus, what's up? Um, stay safe, stay well, stay positive, and uh, definitely reach out and uh, shoot us a DM or send us a message and let us know what you thought about this. And oh, also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification button so that you get notified um, and all that jazz. So yay. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thanks, Sudan. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Sudan for a second, Sudan. We'll chat. Okay. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Much love.